Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing the GMC Canyon Elevation. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Provo GMC for giving me some time with this canyon. This particular one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check this out and the rest of the inventory that they currently have. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town and then 21 on the highway with power outputs being 310 horsepower and then 430 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, the white paint does hide this a little bit, but you guys can kind of see the little ridges and valleys they have. It looks pretty cool. And then the canyon has the split light design, so you guys can see the daytime running light set up here at the top. You can see the headlight down below, and then you've got the fog light here at the bottom. And then notice the grill's all blacked out with this. We've got the GMC logo as well. And then we do have tow hooks with this package. And putting it all together, I love the front end design, especially with the contrast between the black and the white. It looks really sharp. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 65, 18 on the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, notice how the center is metallic gray and yeah, really good tires. Again, this is not like they're crazy off road package or anything, but still those are good tires for this to have from the factory. And then here's a quick look at the front suspension. And then I like the fender flares and the fenders on the Canyon, very chunky. Got the elevation badge here on the side. Also notice the mirror cap is blacked out. And then the Canyon does utilize leaf springs here in the back. And putting it all together, here is the side view with the Canyon. Now, taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We got the remote start function as well as the GMC logo. And popping into the bed, first off, the tailgate is dampened, which apparently this one's very, very dampened. <laughs> Anyways, you can see with the bed protection from the factory, we actually have an outlet here in the bed as well. And I mean, this is pretty dang big for a midsize pickup truck in terms of bed space. We also have a ruler here, which is cool. Anyways, when you're all done, this is really easy to put back up. You can see the GMC Canyon badge elevation down below, and then you have the cool little bumper steps. And also there's a look at the C-shaped taillight. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the overall looks here with this elevation package on the Canyon. Now taking a look at the door panel, you guys can see soft touch here. Look at the stitching that goes across. And that theme continues onto the seats here inside. Now legroom here in the back is, again, pretty good for a mid-sized pickup truck. You've got a little storage pocket there, some cup holders. We've got vents down below. We also have a cup holder armrest. The window is manual with the opening operation. And then headroom back here, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel, you guys can see soft touch here and down below. We've got all of our window controls, notice that one's automatic. Mirror adjustments, door lock and unlock. Let's quick look at the mirrors themselves. And then let's look at capability. So we have 1,471 pounds of payload. That's more than some full-size pickup trucks. And then gross vehicle weight rating is 6,200 pounds. So you could write this off. This is a, uh, a write-off for those of you that are business owners. And then take a look at the front seats. Again, you can see soft touch all down. And we've got our power adjustments on the side. Trailer brake controls here off the side. And I like this with the vent shape. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You guys can see soft touch all around. We do have radio controls on the back of the steering wheel. And then we have a bunch of practical controls on the front, like your voice command controls, your cruise control, for example. And then you have the singular stock for the turn signal and the windshield wipers. Now we also have this digital gauge cluster in the center. And if I press a little button, it'll change the look of the gauge cluster. I think that's pretty cool how it's customizable like that. That's cool with the off-road stuff as well. Now this also comes with a 360 camera system. Now being a mid-sized pickup truck, it really does not need it. It's not a huge vehicle, but it's a nice feature to have, especially with the tire view right there for off-roading. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system here, you guys can see we've got the kind of like shortcut bar here on the side and we've got the main screen response very quickly. We do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And I like the fact that we have a physical volume knob. I think that's a nice feature to have. And speaking of physical buttons, you can see we've got the climate controls here, heated seats as well. And I guess, uh, speaking of not physical buttons, 
you go to the controls tab, this is where you turn on the lights and everything. So yeah, they don't have a physical button for that anymore. Anyways, back down below, we've got some vents here. You can see for the windows to roll them all down at the same time at once. You've got this for your auto stop start, hazard lights, stability control. And then if you had an auxiliary item to it, and you guys can see the USBs right here. And I like the camo design. And then we've got our drive mode slash drive line select. So this does have an advanced four wheel drive system. It's not a two speed transfer case though, but with the drive modes, you guys can see we've got an off-road mode, a tow haul mode, terrain mode, and then a normal mode we can go through. Shifter for the eight speed. We've got a parking brake right here, cup holders. And then you guys can see the center console, good storage in there. Nice padding on the top here. Speaking of padding, nice on the dash. Look at that trim. This is very upscale looking for not a loaded up package, right? Pretty big glove box. Uh, and then no center for anything like that. So there's a bit of glare, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see the window sticker, but base MSRP is 40,200. Now this has the premium package, convenience package, has quite a few other packages added to it. Uh, total MSRP on this after all packages and everything, 48,495. And let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's a bit of visibility over the hood. I can talk through both of the mirrors. That was horrible. And through the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the Swiss Army knife of pickup trucks. And I will explain my title in today's, in today's video. Uh, but first off, we are at probably about four, maybe 4,500 feet elevation. And the turbocharged engine just, just light at throttle application and it moves. It's it's really impressive just the torque of this thing. And on top of that, it's very comfortable. So I said this in my you know reviews in the Colorado with the driving. I've had a little bit more seat time in that uh, truck compared to this. And it drives more like a full-size pickup truck in terms of the ride comfort. Now it doesn't feel like a full-size pickup truck in terms of weight. This is you know, a, a heavier mid-size pickup truck, but it's not, yeah, it doesn't doesn't feel like full-size pickup truck with the weight, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, the ride quality is great. Um, some other stuff, seat comfort's actually really good. So that's another big plus if you ask me. And like, it's it's quiet. It's just, it's just a, it's a comfortable experience. I think it's really enjoyable if you ask me. It's just, it's just nice just driving it around and again with that turbo 27 it's just it's torque all the time it's great so we will get a little acceleration here <laughs> so much torque 430 pound feet it's crazy we'll get another acceleration up here in a moment but i guess we'll start talking about the Swiss Army knife stuff. Uh, well, actually, acceleration first now because that light went greener faster than I thought it would. Okay. <laughs> it's solid. So here's here's my thoughts. Um, this truck has, you know, not the most aggressive all-terrain tires on the planet, but it's got all-terrain tires. So that makes it a little bit more capable when it comes to off-roading. It's got an advanced four-wheel drive system. Doesn't have a two-speed transfer case, but like for the off-roading that most people are going to do in a pickup truck, you know, camping trails, all that kind of stuff, this will be more than adequate. So, right, that's a good use for it. Uh, the next thing is a great daily driver. It, for, again, a pickup truck, pretty economical. The fuel economy and the engine's great and the comfort's great. And this elevation package is a nice interior. So like this is luxury enough. So that's kind of another use. And then you can do pickup truck stuff with it. It's got solid payload. And then I think with this package, I might be off in the towing figures, but I think it's like, what, seven? I think it's around 7,000 pounds, somewhere around that roughly. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong. Usually the uh, GM trucks have a towing sticker, but this one did not. Continuing along, uh, the other thing that I could see this uh, outside of truck stuff, daily driving stuff, uh, it's also just a family vehicle. Again, the back seats, it's a mid-size pickup truck, so it's not like the most massive thing on the planet, but they are very usable. Where is my camera stuff? Do, 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 do. So I feel like this video is gonna be like just so many cuts and everything because I apparently can't talk this morning. I don't know why. 
But it's something's up. This has a lot of uses. You could use it as, again, family vehicle, pickup truck, daily driver, and it can do some off-road stuff. And so that's kind of like a Swiss Army knife. And then the other part about it is it's not exorbitantly expensive, right? Swiss Army knives, they're, they're super usable, super practical, but they're not extremely expensive, right? They're relatively affordable. And that's also what this is. So let me know what you guys think about the GMC Canyon.